Well, hello there, guys. Welcome again. I could not stop but give you guys another episode, guys. And what we're doing is we're taking this huge army of 89, uh, and we're going to put it over here on the front with the British Raj, uh, because I know they're causing us a lot of problems as is. Uh, in fact, we're trying to send some men in over here to take out the invading forces in the Chinese People's Republic. And uh, this is going to be a tough job, no, no, no doubt. Um, but we need to go ahead and do it. I'm even considering sending some rockets over to help. But I definitely want to stay away from using any nukes until the allies use them first. Then we'll consider um, using some nukes, of course. But for now, let's play it pretty cool. Send some of these to eastern India. Advanced guided missiles. And uh, let's take a look here. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that they do strategic bombing. Sorry, guys. We're going to assign all to Eastern India. Strategic bombing, strategic bombing, strategic bombing. Uh, air superiority for our fighters. So we're really going to help here with Eastern India. We're basically sending everybody here. Uh, or all of our uh, rockets here, I should say. I'm not sure if it's going to help, but I really want to make sure that we win in Asia because the Chinese are such good allies. We want to make sure that we help them in any way we can. Great Mao. Meow! He makes me think of Meow sometimes. What can I say? Alright, we're still pushing in also, guys, on um, West Germany. And hopefully we'll be taking Hamburg soon and getting an ultimate victory here. Um, so we are trying to push through. I'm going to go straight for Dortmund. Not in the most strategic way in the world, but it's working. Uh, the East Germans are not very strong here in terms of their defenses. And the only thing helping them are their Belgian allies, etc. That are over here in the west of the country. West Germany, excuse me. I'm really tired, guys. It is late. It is late. Okay, we don't want to be cut off here, so let's go ahead and smash the bottom. Take a few of these troops to smash through here. There's still Swiss troops helping here, which is annoying me. These damn Swiss don't know when to surrender. Let's take a look at our Hellenic front. The vicious Greek front, as I like to call it. And uh, we're going to try to push through a little bit here. Just a little bit. Obviously beating Greece would be a huge uh, bonus because they're going to be sending troops through Greece. And that's not going to help anyone. Except for the Greeks. Right, let's go. Looks like this attack is going pretty well. Alright, that's a victory. Let's keep... We, we want to... Damn it! No! Fool. We want to keep going behind the enemy. Just like we cut the enemy off in West Germany, we want to do the same here, guys. Nice! We're getting a nice attack here. Ivan Konyev, you will get the metal, believe me. Let's also take a look over here at our uh, front. See if any of our guys are here. Still moving a lot of troops, and getting just through all of China takes a long time. Not the greatest infrastructure in the world. In fact, I'm thinking we should go ahead and select... Whoa, sorry guys, wrong army. It's not ours. That's China. What the hell are we? Oh, there we are. So we've actually got 49 troops here. I'm gonna... Unassign 49 troops. Yep. And the reason is because I'm gonna go ahead and get a new commander for these 49 troops. Give it to Guri Guri Kulik. And we're gonna put them on this front right here. This is annoying enough at it, as is to have to deal with the British invasion on both sides. And I know our Chinese friends can't do it on their own. So now we'll be sending two different armies to two separate fronts. I think this should work out pretty well. Um, splitting those armies up to really be able to respond to both locations. There's just so much work that has to be done. We've also pushed a few armies over here into the Iraqi people's state to help them fight the British. Um, and we're going to continue doing that. Just send them in and crush the British. Because even though the Iraqi people state is small, we want every single one of our allies to feel welcome. Alright, let's see. Continuing to attack here. What's going on in the Sea of Japan? We don't have much of a navy to speak of anymore. Not after our initial, the initial start of this war anyway. a tiny bit. I want to pop up and see how it's going in West Germany. 
All right, we're definitely pushing forward. Look at that, 28. Um, we're going to take this massive force of 28 and move through to Bremen. And, of course, we're going to have to move to the west, too, to Amsterdam, all these places. So we might try a little probe just to see how strong they are. In fact, that's not a very smart probe. Let's just keep cutting through this way. We know we can win here. We might as well do what we know we can do and then focus on the enemy uh, later. So that's what my plan is now. Seems pretty simple, but sometimes simplicity is best. Deutschland is Oz once again. I sound like a German again. What's wrong with me? I've been corrupted, my friends. I might need to send myself to a gulag. There we go. Alan Cunningham's taking over here. It doesn't look like the British are in a very good situation. Not at all. Another thing I was doing, I didn't even mention this to you guys. I am uh, trying to boost our relations with Spain. Because obviously Spain is uh, by themselves right now, despite being a communist country. Um, it's really interesting. The communists are in charge, but they are refusing to join the common turn. And probably with good reason. It's... Not exactly in their best interests. Nothing good's going to come of it. They're just going to go down in flames with the rest of us, or at least be in a war that lasts, who knows, maybe 100, 200 years. Um, but I'm going to see here, invite to faction. So yeah, we just have to try and keep improving relations. We're still improving those relations. Um, and maybe if we sign a non-aggression pact with them. Let's sign a non-aggression pact with them. Let's see what happens. There'll be no war between our countries. I really hope they make the right decision here. That didn't actually improve anything. That actually lowered our relations. Do they think they can take over? Do they think they can take over? Let's see, I got it back. Do they really think they can go ahead and take over our meetings and just decide whatever's going to happen in this country? They're crazy. All right, we're going to have to probably take the Netherlands too, guys, and turning it into a communist Netherlands is probably not a bad idea. Obviously, the more um, victories we get here in Europe, the easier it's going to be to deal with our situations over here in the east. So here we go. We've already got our guys on the front. They're not fully on the front, though. Uh, but the Norwegians are actually trying to attack. And look at that. They're actually pushing in pretty quickly. Um, so what I'm going to do here... I'm going to set an attack plan. A front... Or, sorry. A uh, offensive line. Try that again, Agrippa. Okay, that should work. I don't want to execute yet because these guys are still getting into formation. Let's execute now. See how you deal with Xinjiang and also the Great Soviet Union at your back. Of course, our other army is still getting into position. We're taking a little bit longer because they have to cross this giant mountain range. The Himalayas? No, the Himalayas are over here. Just as bad, probably. Alright, guys, look at that. Very, very close to getting to Hamburg. Um, I'm gonna jump west and see if I can take Amsterdam. And just a crazy attack. But our guys are just... They have such good units, those modern tank divisions, etc. That I think they, sh they probably should be able to break through. And hopefully the French will take Hamburg. Keep moving, men. Look at that. The German infantry are still fighting. But they are definitely very low in terms of morale. Alright, some great victories happening here, guys. Hamburg remains out of reach. Let's jump over here. Looks like we're finally kicking out the British um, from Iraq. We've certainly taken Kuwait City. And actually, Kuwait City was British territory, so taking Kuwait back from the British is pretty awesome. But at this point, Kuwait is not its own country, so it's not going to give us any sort of uh, communist friend or anything like that. Looks like we're having mixed success on this front. We don't have enough men, I don't think, on it. Um, but we are pushing on it. It's just such a large front. This eastern part of China is pretty huge. And here we are. We are in the front once again. I'm going to select all my units here. 40 in all. And we want to select 
the capital of the British Raj, which would be New Delhi. This is, wow. If we're going to go for New Delhi, we're going to have to really go for New Delhi. <laughs> I don't know what else to say it. So let's go ahead. We'll select that. I want to make sure my guys are in tip-top shape before they attack. And I think we can go ahead and, and begin the attack. Uh, looks like the British Raj is probably better better trained than um, quite a lot of the other guys we're facing. So let's hope that this attack works out and it's not just a total cluster F, as you guys know. We're going for Hamburg. Once again, we're going to go ahead and just do our smash and grab technique. Just like a bunch of thieves. Communist thieves. Some people think that's an oxymoron. Not, not a gripa. Not a gripa. Tell the bankers about thieves. Here we go, guys. We may be taking Amsterdam in this Let's Play. Wouldn't it be great to take two countries right away from the Allies? Show them that we truly mean business. Continue, men. Alright, we don't want to get too stuck in this area. Let's go ahead and hit this British uh, unit here. So right now, the attack near Amsterdam is failing, despite being very successful at first. Let's see what's going on in the British Raj. Hey, we're pushing some of these enemies back, guys. Actually creating some gaps in the line. Let's go ahead and smash right through this guy. Some of these are so easy to micromanage kind of obvious. These Dutch soldiers are not ready to fight. Most of the Dutch soldiers are already in Amsterdam right now trying to defend the homeland. So we can go ahead and cut through there pretty easily. Don't get tired of me now, French commune. Oh, come on. It's right there. The great city of Hamburg. So now we're going straight for uh, Amsterdam. We're not even uh, going for Hamburg anymore. Because I think it's important first to just try to take as much land as we can, as many countries as we can. They're going to produce more troops, and I'm probably going to release them as puppet states anyway. Go for it. Alright, now our attacks are waning down just a little bit. Probably want to move some guys north to cut them off from sending reinforcements here. And it looks like the attack on Hamburg has begun. Our East German friends are attacking. But they don't seem to be doing very well. They're being led by a French commander. That explains it all. <laughs> no offense, French subs. Let's go ahead and send uh, some units up here. Okay, let's hit this Dutch unit with everything we've got. There's a tremendous amount of units here, but I think we can overpower them. Just look at all this territory that we have taken, guys, as the Soviets. And this just represents the territory here. As for the Greek front, it's the same as it ever was. I mean, we're not really pushing through. They're not really pushing back either. It's just a very static front. And I feel like it's going to be like that for a very long time. Looks like our French are getting rid of the Greeks. Here we go. The Greeks did manage to push through and take back quite a lot of land here. And now they're trying to push into the Romanian People's Republic, um, led by uh, Ion Peron. Hopefully we can finish that mess very, very soon. All right. Yeah, that didn't look like it was going to work. Then why did you do it, Agrippa? Shut up! That's why. Cut through here. Gotta take that city. Really doesn't get much simpler than that. Nice. We just got a bunch of our uh, destroyers built. And I hope we're cutting off this uh, British unit now. Let's 
Once again, they're managing to put up that fight. Looks like our French allies are doing a great job pushing into uh, Belgium, and maybe they'll take Brussels soon, but, I mean, it's a very interesting war, guys, to say the least. Uh, I think it's begun 1955. We need to get the exact dates. 1954, actually, it begun. Uh, or maybe beginning of 1955. I could have sworn it was 55 when it started, but it might have been late 54. Let's see how long this lasts. Grab this chunk right here. Plow through right to Amsterdam. In fact, we'll plow through right to Hamburg. We got some units on the way, guys. Go forth! Hopefully we can make the difference here, but look how many units they have defending Hamburg. 32 German divisions trying to stop us here. It's not going to work, though. Takes a city. It's going to be a really hard steal. Look how many uh, men they're trying to actually bring just to defend Hamburg itself. I mean, this is not going to be easy. Anyway, guys, I hope you'll keep watching. Obviously, we can't keep going or we'd be here forever. We will, however, take a look at the casualty to count as we enjoy doing so much. And um, let's see how the allies are doing here. All right, decent. We're getting some kills on them for sure. Um, and West Germany is about to capitulate for sure. United Kingdom, 393,000 men. Finally, they're feeling the casualties. But, of course, that's not going to beat our casualty count of 1.01 million. Booyah! Stalin wins again! Well, in not a very good way, exactly. But, you know, you have to win some to lose some. Isn't that the same? I think it is. Let's jump over here quickly. This actually seems to be going okay. We're pushing slowly through. Kuming is back in our hands. And even over here, we're pushing the, uh, the British back. So... Hopefully we're helping our Chinese friends, and hopefully they will do the same and help us in return. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and glory to the Red Army.